I'm going to show you how to make an Airbnb investment. Airbnb and B and B. I don't know if I said that right. Airbnb doesn't have to be an Airbnb investment. It could be a VRBO investment. It's a short-term rental, folks, okay? A short-term rental. I'm going to show you how to make a short-term rental investment turn out into a $1.2 million profit. And guess what? It's all passive. You can do it from anywhere in the country or the world, actually. And... The government's going to give you $145,000 to do it. What? This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. This is Holden Wise TV. I'm James Wise. I host this bad boy. Who am I? Well, I'm a local real estate broker, property manager, investor, landlord, Airbnb host, a whole bunch of stuff. I also do insurance as well. So if you got a rental property in Ohio, hit us up. Probably save you some money. But enough of that. What we're talking about today is Airbnb investing. I'm going to show my man Jim, because that's what I do. I work with investors one-on-one, -on -one, right? So if you want to work with me like Jim's doing... Hit us up again, okay? You can't buy this deal. Anybody who's watching this, you can't buy this. It's not for you. I sent this to Jim privately, okay? If you want to work together in real time, you got to you gotta get a video like Jim did. This is the third video I'm doing for you, Jim. Airbnb deal, dude. It's going to turn into a $1.2 million profit for you. And I'm going to get the government to give you $145,000 to do it. And my team, we're going to handle all the dirty work. And I'm going to explain the whole thing from beginning to end, the who, the where, the why, the what, the what, the how, the what. I said what like six times. All I know is we're going to break the whole freaking thing down in an easy-to-understand way right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back, folks. Government money, baby. Government money. The government's giving out money, and I want you guys to grab it. I want you to take all that government money, put it in your pocket, right? Because we are going to do some investing, and we are going to make some money off the government offering us money. We're going to do it by buying this property. 1342 West 74th, Cleveland, 44102. Now, this particular property, it's very important that you understand what this is. This is a new construction home built to green building standards. That's incredibly important, folks. That is the key to this whole thing, okay? The government, right? Local government in Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio. The city of Cleveland. Now, a lot of you investors, you come to Holton Wise TV and you invest in the greater Cleveland market. That means you're investing in Cleveland, but you're also investing in a lot of the suburbs around town, okay? If you watch this show enough, you see a lot of properties in Elyria, in Lorraine, in Lakewood, Garfield, Euclid, Parma, okay? None of that applies today. None of that applies to the free government money that I can get for you, okay? Okay. The free government money is only going to work in Cleveland on a new construction home that is built with green building standards. That means it's eco-friendly, okay? Eco-friendly building standards, right? You hear things in Cleveland about certain neighborhoods. Ohio City, Detroit Shoreway, Tremont, okay? Little Italy, right? You hear about those neighborhoods. The resurgence the resurgence of Cleveland. Cleveland's on the comeback, right? These are all A-grade neighborhoods, folks. They didn't always used to be A-grade neighborhoods, though. These are gentrified neighborhoods, right? Old crummy houses get torn down. Beautiful new houses get built back up, right? How did the government make that happen? How did these areas start to pop, right? How did that all happen? Well, through subsidies, government grants, things of that nature, right? What Cleveland is doing... They're doing 15-year tax abatements on new construction. 
that meets green building standards. So this particular property, you do not have to pay taxes on the property, on the house, for 15 years, right? See these taxes? 2,221. That is it. The tax rate in Cleveland, okay? The tax rate in Cleveland is 2.79%, okay? So if you were to buy this house at 432500 which I don't think you should. I actually think you should buy it at 425000 So let's use that. 425000 times the tax rate, which is 2.79%, times 2.79%. That would be $11,857.50. $11,875.50 every single year. That's what you should be paying in taxes. But instead, all you have to do is pay taxes on the lot, not the house you built on the lot, right? So that is 200 2,221, right? So that is free money. That is $9,636.50 a year. They're going to give that to you for 15 years. It's $144,547.50, right? $145,000. City's given out to investors like you, which has allowed neighborhoods like this to gentrify and become A-grade neighborhoods. And guess what? You know what I like to do in A-grade neighborhoods, folks? Do you know what my favorite thing to do in A-grade neighborhoods is? It's to put Section 8 tenants in them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, it's not, because that would be crazy. Why would you do that? No, 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 no. My favorite thing to do in A-grade neighborhoods is to rent out luxury houses as short-term rentals, as Airbnb rentals, right? We do a lot of stuff here at Holton Wise, okay? We have buttered our bread with the low-income Section 8 stuff for many, many years, dude. We have made a killing. I like that a lot. But I also like diversification. I don't like to put all my eggs in one basket. I like to do low-income Section 8 investing in C and D-grade neighborhoods. I think it makes a lot of sense for investors, right? We handle all that for you. But in addition to that, we like to do short-term luxury rentals in A-grade neighborhoods with properties like this, okay? They don't make sense from a numbers perspective as long-term rentals in the A-grade neighborhoods. But as short-term rentals, whoo, boy, they do very, very well. Look at this thing. It's beautiful, right? This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful home, right? Look how nice this is. This is definitely something your guests are going to love. In this neighborhood, right, it's in Cleveland, so it's right there next to the action. This is where people want to be, right? So when people come to Cleveland, they want to be close to everything. They want to be close to the queue. They want to be close to downtown. They want to be close to Lake Erie, right? They want to be everywhere. We are right there in Detroit Shore, right? This is like Gordon Square, the hub, like the heart, West 65th. That's literally right here, right? Here's the property. You got Edgewater right here. There's Ohio City. We were talking about that. You got the flats. You got downtown. Like, this is everything, right? This is exactly where people want to be. Like, you are literally steps from all of the action, right? Look at this little marine action, this park, everything. It's so nice, okay? All right here. This is where people want to be when they're coming to stay into Cleveland, right? They want to be close to it all, and this is what you provide them. And you get a brand freaking new house, okay, just built. It's built to the green housing standards, so it's more eco-friendly, which means your utility costs are actually lower, which is great for you because, hey, this is an Airbnb, dude. you got to pay the utilities, okay? So <clears throat> super nice. Like you can even see, like they're just building so much stuff like in this neighborhood. Look, right here. I mean, you got another new house going up right there. This is what's happened, right? This is the hottest spot, right? So just a super nice, luxurious home, okay? And then you even got some old homes. Those are the kind of homes that are getting raised, and new homes like this are popping up all over this neighborhood, right? Just beautiful new homes. This is a second kitchen, by the way. This is another kitchen in the basement, right? That's why we're going to get a premium for this one. Look at this basement. A whole extra space, man. This thing's huge. We're going to be able to sleep a lot of guests in this luxury house, man. This is super-duper nice, okay? So all that's great. How's it going to work out? How's it going to work out with the numbers, right? Well, as far as purchase price goes, I believe 425000 is the price we need to pay. And then we're going to need to furnish it. We don't have to do anything else. We're going to need to furnish it, right? So that's $450,000 investment. Then we'll be able to rent this thing 
on average, 450 a night. Guess what? In the summer, we're going to have higher occupancy, probably higher nightly rents. The winter, it's going to go down a little bit. Of course, we're going to do very well around Thanksgiving, around Christmas. Uh, but, you know, in Cleveland, people are not moving around as much. So at the end of the day, you need to factor in a 38% vacancy. Historically, that's what we're seeing out here. Short-term rentals, historically, you could even check this. You could check my numbers, right? Check it on Airbnb's website, right? They're historically seeing a 62% occupancy in the area. And you know how you get a higher occupancy? You provide the nicest product. You provide a luxury product in a luxury neighborhood that's right in the heart of things, right? A nice gentrified neighborhood, right? So my calculations, if you were to rent it every single night, 13950 Of course, you're not going to do that because it's 62% historical occupancy, right? So after you factor all of that in, you should be making a clear 5900 a month. That's factoring in your vacancy, your Airbnb fees, Holton Weiss's fees, cleaning, maintenance, the whole shebang. Seventy grand a year, almost $71,000 a year, right? Your total investment is four hundred fifty k. You put down 131000 That's 106000 is for your down payment on your 30-year loan. 30 years, fixed interest, low interest, tax deductible, 30-year loan. Then the additional cost of the furnishings, right? We need beds. We need couches. We need TVs, right? We got to deck this sucker out. We want to sleep as many people as humanly possible to get the highest amounts of rent, which is why it's really awesome that there's two kitchens in a finished basement here, okay? That's why I really dig this one. So 131000 all in, right? 131000 is your all-in investment. And you know what's crazy? Don't forget the government, right? Remember I said the government, 15-year tax payment? They're giving you 145000 So the government has got more money into this deal than you do, right? You're putting 131 out there. They're putting 145 out there. That's, what is that, $14,000, right? Yeah, $14,000 more the government's investing in your investment than you are, right? And that should, folks, after you pay your mortgage, because your tenants, your guests, rather, are going to pay off your $318,000 mortgage, you should be netting. A 42% cash on cash return on average, right? I believe you'll be taking home an average of 54,737. Let's go even deeper, though. Let's talk about a little bit more numbers here, okay? 54,737, right? I think this would make sense as a 15 year hold, right? So if you held it for 15 years, you're looking at a profit of, in my estimation, $821,000, right? And, you know, let's just say over that. Uh, 15 years, seeing as this is a gentrified area, the city's investing all this money, right? $145,000 going into investors like you because they want new houses to be built up. Maybe the resale value in 15 years, maybe it's about five and a quarter, right? Five and a quarter. Why wouldn't it be, right? I can't tell you that for a fact, right? That'd be crazy. That'd be speculation. But what I can tell you is this is a neighborhood that is historically gentrified, and this is where people are putting money. So I think it's a safe bet. But again, I'm just purely speculating, but again, if you're going to speculate, you should look at actual things that are happening, and the government shoving this money down everybody's throat to build up new stuff, that's that's a good thing. So maybe we sell it at five and a quarter. Well, five and a quarter, by then, your loan, 318, you probably only owe maybe 150000 on that loan, right? So 525, okay. Minus a hundred fifty thousand, right? That's three seventy five plus over that fifteen years, right? You made your eight twenty one. So what are we looking at? Eight twenty one. That would be eight twenty one. Sorry, screwed up on the calculator. Plus three seventy five. We're looking at almost one point two million dollars, folks. Almost one point two million dollars. Over a decade and a half, right? Why? Because you got an on-the-ground team like Holton Wise doing all the dirty work for you. We're going to ensure we have this thing looking spick and span. We're dealing with the guests. We're putting it on sites like Airbnb, VRBO. We're doing all that. Anything that breaks, we're fixing it. We are handling the phones 24-7 in case there's an emergency for your guests. We're taking care of all that for you, right? The government, they're doing their part. They're giving you a hundred and what did I say? hundred and forty four thousand dollars. Right. So I believe with all that stuff, you could very passively invest one hundred thirty one thousand dollars in cash. And over the next decade, turn that into one point two million dollars. Right. That's why I think it makes a lot of sense to do these high end 
Airbnb rentals in the Cleveland market, right? They got to be new construction. They got to be green housing standards, eco-friendly, and it's got to be in the city of Cleveland, right? So anybody who watches my show, don't be sending me stuff in the suburbs like, does this qualify for the tax credit? Does this qualify for? No, it's got to be new construction in Cleveland, green housing standards. And then we could take that investment, turn it into a short-term rental, and turn your investment into a huge sum of money, right? I just laid it out, $1.2 million in profit for a 15-year hold, right? Why wouldn't you sell it at 15 years? You might as well. Your appreciation, in my estimation, should be high, okay? And then that's right when the tax abatement goes away. So instead of just paying taxes on the lot, those little $2,000 a year taxes, you would now be paying, like, what did I say, like 11000 in taxes? Get rid of the property right then and there, sell it to an owner-occupant, right? Because we're going to see even more gentrification in this area by that time, in my estimation. Max it out, sell it to an owner-occupant, folks. $1.2 million in profit over the next decade and a half. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.